hello everyone welcome back to another one of my vlogs literally just ended my previous vlogs so if you guys saw that video the one before this one this is literally just me carrying that vlog on but in another one if that makes any sense because that one was getting too long because i went to ken over the weekend and i had a few items to show in the haul um so i went ahead and done that and then i also packed some orders for my pet shop so here's two of them i've done about like 10 or just over 10 orders uh but there's four of them which i haven't sealed yet because i need to decorate some paw print cookies tonight to add them into the order because i'm going to be going off to the post office and then i'm going to be going to pets at home to collect cupcakes ashes cupcake is my um russian dwarf hamster she died um on the 30th of december so last year and i actually have this necklace which i got recently and it has a c for cupcake and then it has the date that she passed away on so i think this is like a really sweet necklace and a nice way to remember her i did bring her into pets at home to get cremated um about two weeks ago now um a little over two weeks actually so i'm going to be collecting her tomorrow which i am really looking forward to so i can find bring cupcake back home i was getting worried because i was feeling like maybe they lost her or they forgot about her or something i haven't heard from them um and it's been over two weeks now um so yeah i'm really looking Looking forward to picking her up tomorrow um i did empty her cage last week i have a video of me doing that so if you guys want to watch that video i'll have it like linked in the description so i'm just in pets at home at the moment and i've just collected cupcakes ashes they gave it to me in this really cute bag So it's almost a week since I last spoke to you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you what was in the bag I got from Pets at Home which had cupcakes ashes in it and I'm also going to talk about that a little bit more as well and I do have a few exciting updates to show you guys. So the first thing I have to say is that um, the February hamster subscription boxes are now available on my website. I've had a lot of you guys ask me when I'm going to be bringing some more boxes out because I didn't bring any out in January because I was just really 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 busy um, but I managed to find some time to pick out items for the box um, for February. The boxes are £20 each. It's just a one-time purchase you don't need to subscribe or anything like that you just buy a box whenever you want to buy one although it's february the boxes are not valentine's themed i think i done a valentine's themed box last year this year i just haven't really had a lot of time to um focus on my business a lot so i thought it would just be easier if i done a um random theme rather than the valentine's theme but i'm going to try my best to do an easter theme for you guys because i think it would be a lot easier to find a lot of items that would fit that theme so i have some really 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 exciting things happening on my channel in february so if you guys are not subscribed already then you should subscribe i have a bunch of hamster videos lined up back to back they're going to be really really exciting ones i'm going to be filling up the details um so that cashmere can go in there i'm going to try and do that next week um and then i've also got a surprise coming after that i don't really want to mention it just yet i did mention it a little bit over on my instagram um but i didn't go into too much detail about two weeks something really 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 exciting is happening and I can't wait to share it with you guys um, but you're just gonna have to wait a little bit to find out really just want to tell you what it is but I'm gonna keep it a surprise and that's gonna be like maybe like a free part video or something like that um so yeah I have some exciting stuff happening in February most of it is gonna be all like pet related as well I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and talk to you guys about um cupcakes cremation and everything and just answer some questions that some of you guys might have so as you guys know I went to pets at home last week Wednesday that morning I was watching a few like hamster related videos and there was this girl and she done like a haul um and she got these wipes from pets at home they're like cage cleaner wipes and i was like oh my god i didn't even know pets at home done wipes i had a look to see if they'd done them and they did they're literally just antibacterial cage cleaning wipe never tried anything like this before i didn't even know you could get cage cleaning wipes so i'm really looking forward to trying these out. i think i'm going to test them out just before i start filling up the detail for, um because i'm going to be housing cashmere in there i'm going to test these out and let you guys know what i think of these wipes in a like 
in an upcoming video or something get 20 wipes and these cost £2.50 so of course the main reason why I went to Pets at Home was to collect Cupcake's ashes this was the first time I had ever cremated any of my pets so when Cupcake died I did mention over on Instagram that I was going to get her cremated and it turns out a lot of you guys didn't actually know you could get a hamster cremated there was a few people who didn't really know what cremation was I thought I would just answer a couple of those questions so I'm probably not going to be explaining this in the best way possible um, but cremation is where you basically burn an animal or you can do it for humans as well humans get cremated too um, and you basically burn their body and you're left with ashes and that's basically what you get back some people they do prefer to like bury their pet personally I wouldn't bury a pet at the moment I can't bury any of my pets anyway because I live in a flat and I don't have a garden but even if I did have a garden I wouldn't um, bury my pets mainly because if you move house you can't exactly take your pet with you whereas if you go for the option of um, cremation then you can bring your pet wherever you go you can scatter the ashes if you want to or you can put the ashes into a plant and grow like a plant or tree or you can keep them in an urn or a box like you can do whatever you want with the ashes you can even turn them into a bit of jewelry or you can put them in a piece of jewelry you can even get a tattoo with the ashes in there there's so much you can do with them i think cremation is such a wonderful option and with all of my pets from now on i'm just going to get them all cremated um the only downside to cremation is the fact that it can be a little bit expensive um obviously a hamster is probably one of the smallest animals that um would be cremated for like a dog or cat it's going to cost you a few hundred pounds I'm always a little bit unsure um about how much it would cost to cremate a hamster so obviously it depends where you live and where you go but when i was looking online there was this place near me which could pick up cupcake and um cremate her and then bring her back like straight to my door it would have cost 114 pounds local vet where both of my hamsters um, are registered they charge like 94 pounds so the cheapest place that i could find was the vet in my local pets at home and they charge just 39 pounds prices vary depending on what you want your hamster to be placed in so if you put like an urn um with like a name engraving or something like that then it will be more expensive also get like pebble things where you put like the ashes in there's so many different types it literally just depends where you go but depending on the option you choose more expensive it's going to be um so the option i went for was the scatter box which was the cheapest option eventually in time i'm going to find a nice little um to put um cupcakes ashes in so that was 39 pounds for the scatter box option um another thing i wanted to say is that there's two different types of cremation there's community cremation and individual cremation. Communal cremation is basically where they would cremate your pet with um, a load of other animals and then they would scatter them somewhere. So the company that I got Cupcake cremated with, if I'm correct, they also have a pet cemetery. So I believe they will scatter the ashes around the area. If you go for an individual cremation, then you would receive the ashes back, which is the option I went for. When I went into Pets at Home to collect Cupcake, I was honestly expecting them to just give me a box and then inside the box would have been like a bag of her ashes or something but what i got was so 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 much more i'm really really happy with how everything was presented it looked so 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 beautiful and how that the company i went for put a lot of time and effort into what they do which is really 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 meaningful i feel like the company done an amazing job so if you're wondering how long it took for me to get the ashes back it was a little over two weeks um they said it takes around two weeks but it honestly depends where you go um some places it takes like 48 hours so hopefully i managed to answer any questions that you guys might have had regarding um cremation if you have any other questions then feel free to like leave a comment down below and i'll be happy to help i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i received um so the ashes were placed in this beautiful bag it's a really nice good quality bag so on the front it just says pcs which stands for pet cremation service this is the box that's inside um on the back it just says um cupcake and then it has my name and it says companion care which is the name of the vet stat in my pets at home and at the front it just has a little message that says gone from our sight but never our memories gone from our heart never our hearts which i think is just really 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 sweet um so then you open up the box and then there's another box inside and there's also a little um note at the back which is an envelope so on the front it just says with sympathy and then when you open it up it's just like a little certificate that says this is to verify that cupcake the beloved pair of miss hamilton was individually cremated and then it's signed and then it's just got the date the 9th of january so i'm guessing that's probably the day that she got cremated so i think this is a really nice 
um, little touch. Like I said, there's another box inside. So you remove this box and then inside this box is what Cupcake's ashes in. I'm gonna show you guys what the actual ashes look like. If you don't wanna look, then you can close your eyes for a couple of seconds. But I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what the actual ashes look like. Because when I was trying to research, there wasn't really anywhere giving out information or showing like any pictures or anything like that. Some of you might just be curious to see how much ashes you actually receive back. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you now. So like I said, if you don't wanna look, then you can just look away. So I think the pattern on the box is really nice. It's just like a forest. So the box opens up like this. And then inside is just a teeny tiny sealable bag with a teeny tiny amount of ashes. So this is literally what they look like. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put cupcake back in the box now. Um, and eventually I will get like a really nice little urn for her. So I'm really, really, really happy that um, I got Cupcake cremated. It's kind of a little bit of um, closure. Although she's not alive, it is still a bit of comfort to know that she is still here with me. So overall, I'm really, really, really happy with the service I received when I went into Pets at Home to drop Cupcake off and also to collect her. Staff there was really, really friendly and respectful. I think that also played a part as well. There's one more thing that I forgot to mention. So some of you might be thinking, so what do I do if my pet dies? How do I get my pet cremated? So all you need to do is literally just call up your local vet ask them if they offer a cremation service if your vets don't then you can also have a look online see if there's any pet cremation services near you so there's one in my area like i said and some of these places will actually collect your pet cremate them and bring them back to your doorstep if there's something you prefer um, but a lot of the places you would have to just like go into your vet you don't have to book an appointment or anything like that you can literally just turn up if you know the place you're going to offers um cremation so a lot of the times your pets don't actually get cremated at the place you bring them to so say if you bring them to your local vet um the animal won't get cremated there they'll basically just store them in a the freezer until the company comes along to collect them um and bring them to the crematorium and then they'll bring them back to the vet ready for you to collect um so that's basically how it works so hopefully i've answered all questions you guys might have had if you guys have any other questions just feel free to leave a comment below or you can send me a message um on instagram just a reminder i paid 39 pounds to get um cupcake cremated i think that was a really 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 good price hopefully i've managed to help some of you guys that might be considering creating your pets right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start packing um pet shop orders i won't be able to fully complete the order that will stock or treat so i'm going to be baking some more soon the internet is actually down at the moment so i'm not going to be able to use my laptop so i'm going to have to do everything on my phone which is fine um it's probably going to take me about an hour or so to pack orders because i do like to take my time and do them and it just generally takes a lot of time i have about 10 to 15 orders to pack packing all the orders that needed to be done um it's taken me such a long time but i'm really happy that i've got them over and done with they will be ready to send off on saturday morning once i've packed all the treats that i need to bake um so yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below i'll see you in my next video or vlog so bye for now guys bye.